writer? Are you famous? By choice, no. No, sometimes fame brings a lot of unwanted attention. I mean, look at William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare! Hi. Nice collar, you fruit. Thank you. Hey, Shakespeare, what's the title of your next play? You should call it Homosexual Collar Guy. Ah, by japes and jabs, cut me to the quick, squire. What does that even mean? I know. It means I use this collar as a bib for when I service guys. Thank ye, thank ye. So, how'd you like the collar? Tis not for me. If the cops ask, tell them that Joe, Peter, and Quagmire were with you last night. If you tell anyone otherwise, I will come back and not only hit you, but I will murder you. And no one will care because you're garbage. And your baby is going to be a child of garbage. It's a little rough, Peter. I didn't write it. Joe did. I wanted it to sound real. It's got to sound like he wrote it. Plus, she kind of is garbage, Quagmire. Well, I best be rolling on now. Oh, come on. Who says that? It's an expression. Yeah, if you're in a wheelchair. Listen, you had your chance. I emailed it to both of you. You wrote back looks fine, and you just added that part about Grape Ape. P.P.S. I really love Grape Ape. The end. Oh, you're in here? Yeah, I'm on the phone. Is, uh, is Chris down in the laundry room? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> okay, looks like this is gonna be a stander upper in the garage. Uh-oh, 6%. Better hustle. Now get those hands where I can see them! All the way up! Oh, my shirt's a little too short. That's okay. You can keep them the way you had them so it covers your stomach. Thank you. Well, I have to admit, you two do make a cute couple. But then again, so did Chris Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow. Do you take this woman to lecture you about trans fats for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you take this man to be a watered-down Bono until death do you part? I do. I now pronounce you pretentious and terrible. You may name your daughter after a fruit. <laughs> Peter, it's time to come home and give Joe back his stupid little activity. I appreciate that, Lois. First of all, this is my favorite thing in the world now, so no. And second of all, we're about to play a new round, so start taking your pants off, because when I win, I want you ready. Do you mind taking off your sunglasses? <sighs> oh, my God. No, it's really not that bad. It only hurts when I see. You know, you don't have to stay with a man who treats you that way. Oh, Jeff's sweet. You don't see how soft and gentle he hits me when we're alone. Do you hear yourself? He shouldn't be hitting you at all. I don't think you understand how serious a matter that... Huh, there's no one there. Must have been some kids knocking. Down here, Lois. Oh, for God's sake, Joe. Can't you put a tall flag on the back of your chair or something? I apologize for the difficulty my paralysis causes you. Close your menu. What? Close your menu so they know we're ready to order. I'll give you another moment. Ugh, damn it. I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. See, this is why Jeff corrects me all the time. Corrects you? Brenda, he's not correcting you. He's beating you. Well, I, I can see why you'd think that because of the punches and all, but it's just that Jeff's been so angry about immigrants. What? It'll be better when he gets back to work. Our relationship is just complicated, that's all. You know how much I hate being told what to do? Well, everything's different now than it used to be, isn't it? You know, th this morning I had a bowl of Fruity Pebbles cereal. Yeah, yeah, when I was a kid, they were boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Cereals do change. Oh, now, now here's something. Here's something. Do, do you hear about this? Here's a bunch of words in a row. Because the economy's so bad, they've decided they're going to shut down all the prisons. Yeah, yeah. And, and they're going to send all the inmates to Congress. I don't get that one! Oh, hey, is that Padma from Tech Support again? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, cool. Ask her a question for me. How come over there they just talk on the phone and over here they're all doctors? Get out of here. Lois said you're supposed to sit on the potty for one hour straight. I'm taking a break. I got bored. Did. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. So do you want to go out sometime? Out like go out or hang out or just do something? Like a date. Like a date date or like a date? Both it. I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. Yes, no. Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me.
You were right, Joe. This is awesome. I never won anything. Well, except for when I won that Tory spelling bee. Peter, your word is equine. Peter reached this round by accurately spelling collagen, repulsive, and botched. You know what else you can get arrested for? Soliciting a rooster. I don't know what this cock-a-doodle-doo thing is, but it sounds gay and it sounds scatological. I'm in. You're about to have a neat... Why are you still up? Because I'm in love. Oh, uh, with that Indian chick? What was her name? Dot? No, it's not Dot. It's Padma. A. Quagmire, you're talking about murdering a guy. It doesn't matter what he's done, it's still murder. No, Joe, it does matter what he's done. Th these kinds of guys don't change. Do you think they ever suddenly wake up and realize the error of their ways and clean up their act? No! They just keep ruining everyone's lives and the world is better off without them. It's against the law, Quagmire, and that's the end of it. <laughs> what the hell? Did you change the channel while I was going to get a beer? Oh, yeah. I I'm sorry, honey. I just wanted to see who was on Letterman. We're watching Leno, you bitch! I'm so sorry! His soft, gentle humor connects effortlessly with my mainstream sensibilities! No! Let's waste this dick. I'm going to India. <gasps> oh my god, I'm going with you! My yoga class will be so jealous! Hey, everyone, the guy I told you about, Brian, he's taking me to India! Oh, oh my god! god! All right, let's do it, Stewie. Let's go find Padma. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> this is wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Chris, Meg, now that I'm a rich father, you will try to impress me and I will remain distant. Go. Um... Uh, say, Dad, did I tell you I got second place in the yacht race? Hmm. Sounds like somebody's dad is happier than me right now. Well, um, how about this, Dad? The school paper's doing a story about me. That's because I had it arranged. Uh, I was thinking about joining the army? No. Meg, as a girl, your life holds no merit. And Chris, try as you may, you will never be as good as your older brother who died. He was good at sports and talking. All right, so how are we going to spend our winnings? I'm going to get some supermarket fried chicken and eat it until I'm nauseous. I'm going to finally get my gal that doodad she's been wanting. I'm going to get a floor mirror to squat over and see what's making all that noise. Okay, this is it, you guys. They're going to announce the winning lottery numbers. Time for the Griffin family to meet its destiny. When we lose, I'm getting a divorce. Understood. Ah! It's not a liquid! It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface. Ah! Hey, Peter, you wanted me to watch the entire first season of True Blood and come show you where there was boob? That's right. I don't want to see any actual True Blood. Just boob. Yeah, well, I found some. No! Anna Paquin boob does not count as real boob. That's like looking at a 12-year-old boy. Jeez, you, you should know that, Joe. You should definitely know that. Sorry, Peter. Sorry doesn't show me nipples worth seeing. And as for you, Anna, you're dreadful and so is the program. I didn't write it. Yeah, but you know the people who do. That Alan Ball, you know him, right? Yeah. How come everything he writes is so dreary? I don't know. Tell him to cheer up. Things ain't so bad. We're here live in our studio where a checkout girl in a cheap dress who wants to be a model is ready to draw the winning numbers. E! That's a three, honey. Turn it around. This! 31. Spooky ghost mouth! That's a zero. Snowman! Eight. Two sailboats! Forty-four. Seventeen! No, that's... Oh, yes, that is seventeen. She's good at seventeen. Can't believe it. We lost everything. What do we do now? Well, seems like our only hope is the lottery. Holy <laughs> we won twice and we're right back here again. Oh, my God! We won! What? Let me see that. Yes! We won the lottery! I'm getting a penis, butler. Sir? All right, buttle my penis. Buttle it! Okay, Quagmire, I want you to take the first bite out of this fudge pop. Because that first bite is the one that really hurts. Well, okay. Ow! Ow! Yeah, that's right, Ow. Now you swallow that. Don't you dare spit that out. What's the difference? You got what you wanted? I said swallow it! Now smear what's left of it on your face and look at me with your mouth open. Look at yourself, you filthy whore. Ugh. I don't even want this now.
Peter, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at work? Yeah, I quit my job, Lois. You what? Yeah, we're rich now. I don't need to be working. Oh, you should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. This is awesome. Now that we're rich, our lives are going to be so much better. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. yeah money! Woo! Woo! Peter, what's wrong? It's, uh, nothing. I'm just going to wait a minute. There's teenagers in skinny jeans out there. Okay, wait, I, I got one. Who would you rather do? Susan Boyle or a sex doll that's been passed around the fraternity? Well, have they been cleaning the doll? Please, these guys are betas. They're total animals. Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Hirashimashi! Hajimemashite! Here comes a black guy! And now, please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Just wanted to remind you fellas what you're all fighting for. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! Everyone, I got big news. We are gonna be rich. Oh my god, Peter, there are thousands of lottery tickets here. Where did you get the money for all these? Simple. I took out a second mortgage on a house. Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. We now return to Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, edited for goats. Marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive. Uh, 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 hold it, hold it. What, what, what's going on here? I'm pregnant. You, you what? Yeah. We're in the middle of a thing here. Well, you didn't return any of my texts. So, what, what, so what's going on? You, you, you want like a, a ride to the place? Peter, what's going on? What's going on, Lois, is that this girl is obviously not well. And I have just learned that she's been stealing from the show and she should probably be escorted out of the building. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. These aren't the real lottery tickets either. These are the real lottery tickets. So in addition to buying 200,000 lottery tickets, you had 400,000 fake ones printed up? I had to be sure. Guess I could stick around. Yeah, and I, gu I guess the co-pilot can fly the plane. She's a woman, and passengers are usually okay with that. I once saw a deodorant commercial that had a woman pilot. That's more like it. Oh. You don't remember my fishing boat? You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. I've been playing a game I invented called Mini Racquetball in your garage. Uh-huh. It's pretty fun. He has not won a single point. You don't have to win to have fun. Boy, it's not like Quagmire to be this late. Yeah. Jeez, I've never tried to make conversation with just Joe before. This is brutal. Come on, Joe, you're losing him. Think of something. This was your shot. Two-thirds of the planet is water. Yeah. Two-thirds of the planet is water. This guy's okay. All right, well, um, we should probably go find out what's keeping Quagmire. Yeah, I guess you're right. And you know, Joe, uh, I was thinking maybe one night we get dinner, just the two of us. I would like that. Get in the car. What? Why? You'll see. Why should I trust you? You're always tricking me into going places I don't want to. Oh, 
You said we were going to a place Walt Disney built. No, Peter. I said supported. Hey, Quagmire? You in there? <gasps> Holy crap! Oh, my God! He must have autoerotically asphyxiated himself! Yeah, while he was watching clown porn. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby, you make me so horny. This is awesome! It's like I'm flying! <laughs> I've never felt so alive! Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. All right! It was the fish part of me that wanted to- Come on, help me get him down! Peter! He's still alive. We gotta get him to a hospital. All right, but let's just watch the end of this clown porn first. <laughs> I had a pretty good egg dish last night. What? What What am I supposed to do with that information? Well, I don't know. Maybe ask me for the recipe? Do you have it? No. Oh, Peter, we came as soon as we heard. How is he? He's in a coma, Lois. My God, what the hell happened? He hung himself during autoerotic asphyxiation. Mr. Quagmire, which box do these beads go in? Let me smell them. They go in the big box. Well, Miss Quagmire, your brother Glenn is lucky to be alive. You know, we're all lucky to be alive on such a beautiful day. In fact, nurse, all surgeries are outside today. Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. 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 Shame, shame, shame! Shame on you! Shame, shame, shame! Shame on Q! This was serious, but it turned into something fun! You know, when we were kids, our, our mother used to sing a song when we were sad. Maybe that'll help now. Come on, Brenda! A stupid nursery rhyme isn't gonna wake him up, especially the way you sing. <laughs> right, man? Yeah. I want Lois. She's perfect. I've loved her for years. Pop cop. That could work. Glenn, is this true? Wait a minute, how the hell did you get that recording, Peter? Your pocket dialed me, you bastard! Peter, that was a private conversation. That doesn't change the fact that you want to steal my wife. Hey, get your hands off me. Oh, oh my God! Oh. End of cookout. Get out of my house and don't ever speak to me again. Uh, what happened? Oh, Glenn. Oh, thank God you're all right. Hey, you touching my girl? Hey, relax, Jeff. That's her brother. Yeah, that's how it starts. <laughs> uh, uh, huh? Who? What, yeah, what? What? Which doggy in what window? So, how'd everything go? Hard to tell. I was coughing the whole time. By the way, I couldn't figure out how to use your oven, so I destroyed it in a blind rage. Well, good night. Oh. After that steak, I gotta go lay down on the toilet. Huh, looks like I got a couple of messages. Uh, Dad? Dad? Grandpa's going nuts on the oven. Can you come home quick? Oh, thanks, you guys, for all your help through this. Oh, Glenn, we're just so glad you're all right. And Jeff and I are happy to stay here with you for as long as you need. Fine! Then you call my cousin Terry and tell him we're not gonna be at his karate recital. Well, Jeff, he is my brother. Why do you always got to remind me I didn't finish high school? And Peter's a good friend. Not like Cleveland. Hey, I got two of these phone books. Didn't know if you wanted one. Hey, how long have we known each other? Long time. And yet we've never discussed mother's maiden names, the names of old pets, high school mascots, favorite teachers. Heck, I don't even know the last four digits of your social. Cleveland, do you need to borrow some money? I do. They're going to kill Dinah. Really? No, I just want to buy a man's fur coat. Get out of here! Hey, Peter. I had an extra phone book, and I... I'm not buying you that coat! Huh? Come here! <laughs> you fat, ugly bitch! If today wasn't your birthday... Jeff, please, you're being... What? What am I being? Crazy? Unemployed? Why don't you call the cops like you did on Christmas? No, I didn't call them. They were called! Oh, now you're calling me a liar in front of this cat? I got another cat. Hey, before you two leave, let's take a photo. Yeah! Selfie! <laughs> I just learned that word. Hey. We even put this ugly night behind us. All that unpleasantness with Brenda and Jeff was more than I can handle. It's no big deal, Lois. We probably just caught him on an off night. 
Where do you get off calling me a deadbeat in front of your brother? No, Jeff, all I said was that you were in between jobs. Well, it wouldn't matter if you would just pick up that night shift at the prison. But then I'll be working a hundred hours a week. So what? I need money for motor oil and wallet chains. Okay, uh, I'll ask about it Monday. Can I put my nightgown back on? No, I'm not done drawing. Right. That Jeff seems like kind of a monster. Yeah, that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. Death to America and butter sauce. Don't boil me. I'm still alive. Iraq lobster.